Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam and today we will be looking at the revenue recognition process under which we will learn uh, how can we set the revenue recognition rules. So let's begin. So the NetSuite financial software simplifies the complexities that are involved in the evolving revenue recognition mandate mentations like uh, sales agreements uh, are there that includes a combination of products and services that can have a, a single uh, performance obligation or it can have multiple performance obligation and for that uh, whether an equal amount of revenue must be recognized at, at a fixed interval or different amounts must be recognized at different intervals so all these concerns can very well be managed uh, with the help of uh, revenue management so revenue management uh, provides a uh, flexible forecasting to accommodate revenue projection uh, updates based on the real time business events. Uh, so if we talk about the advanced revenue management, so it automates revenue forecasting, allocation, recognition, reclassification and auditing through a rule based event uh, handling framework since uh, users can create their own uh, rules uh, for the sales order and can apply it while uh, you know using the contract along with that it also analyzes the actual uh, revenue impacts as well as the forecast uh, that dynamically respond to actual posting it enables us to record the gl impact of sales transactions across multiple uh, future uh, periods so netsuite revenue management enables us to schedule a revenue to be recognized at proper time automatically So revenue recognition process in the NetSuite application can be automated by setting up the revenue recognition rules and uh, uh, con configuring the item records with those uh, revenue recognition rules and then uh, creating or setting up the fair value prices. And while uh, after doing all these things, we can have uh, this uh, ARM that is advanced revenue management workflow uh, begins. So it should have a sales order in it. Then under the sales order, we can have the revenue within those uh, revenue arrangements we can have the revenue elements and those uh, revenue elements uh, are the records that corresponds to individual lines in a source and each revenue element represents a uh, performance obligations that are involved in the contract then uh, we have uh, under the revenue elements we can have revenue plans that are required to be updated and after the updation of the revenue uh, plans revenue recognition plans we can post it into the uh, ledger accounts and we can have the uh, posting of those uh, transactions into the GL. So this is the ARM workflow that is usually uh, used in our NetSuite application for the purpose of recognizing revenue. Moving on to the NetSuite application, we'll be moving uh, towards our today's concern that is how can we set or create uh, the revenue recognition rules in the NetSuite application. But before uh, the first and the basic requisite, requisite uh, for working on the revenue recognition is we have to see whether the feature of uh, accounting period is enabled or not for the purpose of uh, recognizing revenue over a period of time or within a, in a point of time. So for that, we'll go into setup accounting set up uh, set up company enable features so under the accounting sub tab we have this option accounting period enable and this uh, if this feature is not enabled so we have to enable it so that it will uh, means post the transactions and run the reports and close up books at the period and close so we have seen that this feature is already enabled now we will see how can we uh, create or set our revenue recognition rule so for that we'll go into list accounting here we have the option of revenue recognition rules So here uh, under the revenue recognition rules, we have to uh, define uh, certain uh, things. But before that, we should know what are revenue recognition rules. 
so these are all the records that define pattern for revenue recognition it includes a recognition methods amount source and start and end date source along with it it also contains certain uh, terms of uh, payments so uh, this is under the primary information we have to provide the name for this uh, recognition uh, rule then below uh, if you go down here so here we have to define the recognition method various kinds of recognition methods are used like uh, whether we want to use straight line by even period straight line prorate first and last period straight line using exact dates and then a straight line prorate first and last period and uh, we also have the option of custom so if we click custom here so you can see that all these fields have been grayed out so only we can have the option of providing name amount source revenue recognition start date source and uh, end date source only so i am not selecting this custom i am taking the straight line by even period this period offset is about here uh, we have to specify the number of periods uh, to delay or postpone the start of the recognition for the entire revenue plans and basically this uh, uh, we have to you know um, under the period offset we have to specify the number like if we uh, select two years so we can uh, uh, postpone the period uh, for recognizing revenue till two periods and basically it is used for the services that have uh, a trial period or any probation period similar thing we can do with start offset also uh, if i check this inactive box so this recognition rules will not be used on any of the transaction under the initial amounts we have to enter a percentage or fixed amount to be recognized in the first recognized first recognized period then if we go down here under the terms in months so here uh, this is the mandatory field so here also we have to specify the number of months to include under the revenue recognition plan that is generated from this rule we have to specify the uh, numbers of month then if we go down here under the amount source so this field is used to derive the amount uh, for the revenue plans here we have these options event percent based on amount so why uh, if this combination is used uh, basically with the revenue plans that are created on revenue arrangement creation or on billing if we select this event percent based on quantity so this is used for the purpose uh, for fulfillment and if uh, we select this event percent complete so it is basically used with the project uh, progress uh, concept or task so i am selecting this event percent based on amount then this uh, revrec start date source so it determines the source of date of the initial revenue recognition start date on the revenue recognition plan under which we have these these options based on the requirement of the business we can select any of it so i am selecting this uh, source date activity code this is not the mandatory field similar to the revrec start date source here we can also define the revrec end date. so we have these these options available here also i am selecting this this end date change impact is about it determines how uh, revenue plans are updated or modified when the end date changes if we change uh, if any uh, due to some reasons if the end date has been changed so uh, what how the revenue can be recognized in, in that scenario uh, we can uh, select these options uh, sorry we can uh, set uh, options from here like update remaining periods only or update all periods so based on the requirement we can uh, select here the uh, required options this reforecast method is used uh, for the determination of how future periods are adjusted when revenue forecast plans are recalculated if any recalculations are required to be there then what would be the reforecasting method for that so we have to select the options from here it can, whether we want to select manual or taking the last period remaining period next period so we can select that if we go down here so if we select any of the number for uh, offsetting the period so we have to define that uh, period number here and uh, since uh, the means how the how that recognition can take place we have to define a certain percentage for that uh, particular uh, time period so we can define if we have selected any of the period to offset so we have to define the uh, amount percentage for it and after this we will click on save so in this way we can uh, select our revenue recognition rule so now we are done with the uh, 
creation of the revenue recognition rule and one more thing to note here is that this is the rule that i have created uh, we cannot uh, delete or many make any changes in the already created revenue recognition rules you can see that if we these are the already ones that have been created if i click on this one that is default standard and if i click on this edit option so you can see that all these fields have been grayed out only i can edit the name of this uh, particular rule and the rest of the things i cannot make any changes in it because these uh, fields this rule has already been used on any uh, means used on any other transactions so we cannot make uh, any edits uh, in uh, means we can only edit the name of it so once we are uh, run with the creation we cannot make uh, further changes in it if it is used on to the transaction so that's how we can uh, create or set up our revenue recognition rule that is the basic or the first requirement for recognizing revenue or for working on it so that's all about the topic in case of any doubts and consultations you can reach out to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you